What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Money of Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Elite Series review on the WWE Elite Survivor Series 2022 Rick Rude Build a Figure Wave. Pretty cool wave right here. Not the most exciting wave of all time, I don't think. But we have new figures here. We saw these not too long ago. And here they are in fruition. We're going to, of course, go through every single figure in the set. We're going to break them all down. We're going to rank them at the end, including the build a figure. And, of course, we're going to break all the details down, man. Let you guys know exactly what you're getting with this set. How good is the Rick Rude Build a Figure? We will discuss it all here, man. But if you guys want to grab these figures, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. But here's our full wave, Drew McIntyre, Ultimate Warrior, Becky Lynch, and AJ Styles. Trash. Nonetheless, man, let's take a look at our packaging. I think this packaging is actually pretty excellent. I love how it looks like the WWE logo is glowing. Got an image of the talent, their name glowing. Build a figure, Rick Rude, 1997. Got Drew McIntyre there with his cloth entrance gear. Pretty cool stuff going on right there. Of course, his image on the side. You got an image of Drew there. Crazy how different he looks now, man. He's been building muscle for 25 years. Longer than that, but you guys get what I'm talking about. And I just noticed that they put stone on there, which is pretty cool. I've never seen them do that before. Have they always done that? Look, they put the American sort of metric system, and then they use the UK metric system. I don't know. Pretty cool there. Here's a shot of Warrior. He looks amazing in package. I think uh, that coming in, this looks like the best figure in the wave. We'll have to, you know, that remains to be seen, but there's Ultimate Warrior there. You got a shot of Warrior there. Not the best quality image, but, you know, it gets the job done. Rest to the figures in the wave, of course. And then last but not least, we do have Becky Lynch in her WandaVision gear, I think is what this is supposed to be, or Scarlet Witch. Nice look there. And our last figure in the set has got to be the just worst figure I've ever seen. Not eh, not exactly, but you guys know what I'm talking about. AJ Styles here, AJ Styles there, WWE logo, you guys get the point. But let's crack these guys out of their packaging, find out what they're all about, and review all four of these figures that you get in the Survivor Series wave. So here's the full Survivor Series at least set out of the packaging. Liking what I'm seeing in some instances and in instances and then in some instances man i gotta be honest with you i think that we have quite a bit of disappointment in here and i'll get into all those things we'll break it all down of course but here's the full wave of course we are gonna build rick rude at the end we'll cover everybody we'll build rick rude take a look at him and then we will rank the set from worst to best but you guys know typically in these waves the store exclusive waves the pay-per-view exclusive waves the build a figure waves the top talents things of that nature it's usually repaints they usually do repaints and they'll retool a certain figure or they'll keep the same look of a certain figure and they try to get as much reuse out of the figure as possible when they implement it into the wave while also adhering to a pay-per-view theme. Nonetheless, man, we're going to go left to right starting off with Drew McIntyre and then we're going to finish up with AJ Styles, get into the build a figure and then rank this set from worst to best. So let's go ahead and get into Drew McIntyre's accessories and then we'll cover him himself. So getting into Drew McIntyre's accessories, I think his biggest and best accessory has to be his duster or his entrance vest duster deal here. It's like a nice navyish blue sort of dark I don't know. It's more of like a royal blue, to be honest with you. It's like a royalish blue. It's kind of got like a Concord-esque look, but it's got a nice collar on there. It's very well made. Feels really good. It's not like cheap. It feels really quality. Fits the figure well, if you guys noticed it before. We'll take a look at it again when we look at Drew himself. But this is a very nice accessory. This is the kind of stuff you love to see with your action figures, especially entrance gear and t-shirts and things like that. This looks really, really good. I like the way it all came out. This is very, very high quality and just, it, it even has the cut in the back. This is very nice. Very great job to Mattel. You gotta clap it up for this one. And outside of that, you get some mic holding hands, and then you also get some fists. You guys know that they love to include fists and mic holding hands. And if you want to get into his Build-A-Figure parts, he also comes with the legs of Rick Rude. We're gonna go over this again, but he does come with the legs of Rick Rude, and he also comes with the silver briefcase. This is not, this isn't meant for McIntyre. Uh, this isn't meant for McIntyre, but I guess you could put it with him if you wanted to, but this is meant for the Rick Rude Build-A-Figure, but that is Drew McIntyre's accessories. So before taking the duster off, I wanted you guys to get a good look at it on the figure. It looks really good. I think the, the length of it is good. It goes down to the knees. I think that gets the job done. Looks good on the figure. Fits it really well. What a great accessory. Probably the best accessory in the set, if I had to say so. Not much to compare it to and not much to compete with, but yeah, I think it easily wins the deal. But let's take this thing off and dive into Drew McIntyre. So what you're getting with this Drew McIntyre is basically the Elite 8 Drew just redone with modern technology. I think it would have been cool to include the Oval Intercontinental title, but this is that old school head sculpt just with like slight repainted hair maybe maybe repainted eyes a little bit but it looks good it looks like a young drew not perfect but i think it works i remember a lot of people using these for young bucks and like nick jackson heads i feel like you could still do that if you made him a tell nick jackson you could use this head i think it could work easily especially if you threw a headband or put it on the right body i think it could definitely work but he does have the old school this is before he put on all that muscle you know what i mean this is before he was super duper jacked he was still big as hell and he looked great but if you compare him to now the man has continuously put on muscle for years 
and it, it it's paid huge dividends new double jointed arms on there it, it is like the standard size these are the same size practically that his elite eight had but he's got the black wrist tape he's got the white trunks i think it'd be cool to do a drew mcintyre of of current day in these trunks but you got the whites on there the iron crosses or the the blue crosses with the silver details blue crosses on the white knee pads right there which look really good and then he does have his black boots on here which are the same black boots that his elite eight figure came with so that's pretty wild he's got the straps on there looks pretty good i didn't really want to do a ton of comparisons in this video but i feel like i almost have to compare this to elite 89 drew right look at that right there man how insane good christ arms bigger chest stomach bigger legs are about the same but good god in heaven man i mean that's the difference that'll give you like that i mean <laughs> when a guy keeps working he went from a mid carter to a full level superstar insane love drew mcintyre now for ultimate warriors accessories kind of plain jane man you get your raise the roof hands or throne sitting hands is like what i like to call them you know it looks like he's sitting on the throne like gripping the sides and then it also looks like he's raising the roof but he could also do like you know like a press slam or something like that that's what these hands are and then you get your standard mic holding hands and your standard fists that's it i mean unless you include like his bicep bands and stuff like that which i don't this is it for his accessories outside of the interchangeable head sculpts you get for rick Rude. so you get the handlebar mustache or just the straight mustache look and then you get the full beard look which is great because now you can get two different versions of rick Rude depending on which one you want to use or which one you want to display and i'm sure a lot of people out there are going to want both for their displays which is how they get you so but they look really damn good these are really good rick Rude heads probably the best rick Rude heads we've seen so far the likeness is uncanny it looks really good i think they did a fantastic job on it great hair really good stuff man i, I love this rick Rude is looking awesome and i love the likeness i think they did a really excellent job on these great job to mattel again so getting into ultimate warrior i like this head sculpt a lot i do believe this is just what the hall of champions okay these faces behind ultimate warrior about to piss me the hell off all right maybe that fixed it but i'm pretty sure this is just the hall of champions head sculpt repainted it looks really good the likeness is good hair is nice it's more of a lighter brown than the darker brown or maybe the same but got the black and silver face paint on there i like this head sculpt and ultimate warrior was always yelling for some reason like jimmy uso so it all works out here same torso we've always seen big old jacked arms for him he does have his red white and black tassels going on it's the same as the ultimate edition like these are portable and they are posable for him running and stuff like that which is really cool same thing over here you do have your purple and white and gold over here lsu looking on his wrist tape really cool trunks going on right here i don't think they've ever done this before but he's got the white trunks and he has like these sculpted tassels on the side right here which i don't think we've seen before so that's really cool i like that addition it's got like some airbrushing look to it half pink half yellow but you got all your ultimate warrior logos all over there the only survivor sure these were airbrushed or something they look really good that's your open knee pad same ultimate warrior logos on there and he does have the tassels and the bright colors posable again like the ultimate edition look at that popped right out hate to see it i do believe this started with the ultimate edition and then they've just kept it on elites which is a really cool thing i think but going down you do have your silver boots and silver tassels going down very unique gear i love this figure though and i'm not even an ultimate warrior guy but this is a badass figure man lots of bells and whistles on this guy and again i'm not an ultimate warrior guy but this is fantastic like I, I just like this a lot it feels really quality he doesn't have loose shoulders and stuff like other top guys and figures like it seems like they put a lot of care into the ultimate warriors so it shows it definitely shows and i wish other figures would feel this quality sometimes from mattel because sometimes they have like bum ass loose arms and stuff this is nice very quality i like this figure a lot much like rick rude man becky lynch same thing not a lot going on with her you get your mic holding hands with no nail polish which i don't think was accurate but i'm not gonna nitpick that that hard you know you could interchange some women's hands in here with nail polish if you wanted to and outside of that you do have your fisted hands so you get two pairs of interchangeable hands and then you get rick rude suited arms which i'm kind of bummed out about because i'd really like to see them get away from these single jointed arms go to pinless double jointed arms for these builder figures because we've seen these for a very long time now kind of time to retire them they're really good and the the suited figures are some of their best as far as feel in the hand and like posability most of the time but uh we need new suited molds i think aew has got it going on over there at jazz wears with theirs i'd really like to see mattel take the next step in getting a slim suited body not that huge chest one like the Corey graves basic and stuff like that the seth rollins we just recently got in the blue we need slim suits man they're too damn bulky they look ridiculous getting into becky lynch same head sculpt as the elite 72 it looks like it's painted a bit better or a bit more detailed it's missing a lot of eye makeup and lipstick again i don't know why they do that to the women's figures i really think that's the next step to making the women's figures go over the top i don't know why they don't do that but figures also missing some like like there's supposed to be a zipper down the middle there's supposed to be a collar here she also had like a studded spiked jacket on 
it's just lacking a lot to be honest with you a lot of details and uh, i don't know man it's basically a becky lynch with a red painted torso and arms and crotch and then you get some legs here and then you get your big wandavision looking scarlet witch knee pads and then these basic style kick pads that they always use for becky lynch for the love of christ can we get away from that and i love becky lynch but this figure also this arm man it's got that same damn stephanie mcmahon elite 94 problem where this is the only articulation you get it won't close for whatever reason it's always the left arm always the left arm this arm's great feels great in the hand terrific this one is stuck again and it looks so damn dumb our arms just stuck out like that so annoying hate it you get some fish netting painted on there you get some sculpt on the back of the knee pads just to and i know that ain't accurate because i'm pretty sure this is the the match where her cheeks were just falling out nonetheless man it's just oh god i don't know man if this arm wasn't bummy it would be a lot better but that arm just put me in a bad mood man i can't stand that garbage and it has happens way too damn frequently way too frequently does the left arm on these new women figures get stuck please tell me if you've seen the same thing or is it just always me i don't know and then for aj styles accessories again not a lot going on with it uh, a lot of figures in this wave don't really come with a lot for whatever reason but you get the garbage rubber claspy raw t-shirt sleeveless just garbage then you also get interchangeable hands you have the aj styles p1 pose hands which are work out great now because we actually have double jointed arms so they look good but the texture's good colors are good we've seen red gloves before nothing too different here you got the p1 glove posing hands and then they take away all your texture and just give you painted regular hands which i guess isn't the biggest deal but i'd like to see some textured hands similar to ray mysterio or something or our truth or even the ultimate edition cane you know give us some textured glove mic owning hands for aj styles i think it's time but we've seen these before and then aj styles also comes with the torso that you plug the head arms and legs into for rick rude which we've seen a hundred times if you wanted to switch this suit jacket you could pop this out theoretically and put a different jacket on here but i'm not going to do that for the sake of the video i don't have a custom i want to make but it is a black suit red tie white shirt looks good and we'll build him in just a few moments and the last figure besides the builder figure is aj styles and this figure right here pisses me off it's the same head sculpt we've seen for so long now elite 74 head sculpt we're on elite 95 now elite 96 should be arriving at my door tomorrow so there is that but no chest hair on this guy another missed opportunity i don't think i've ever seen aj styles with a shaved chest at least not in the modern wwe era but uh you guys know how i feel about the formula slowly waiting on that ultimate edition but he does have his tattoo on there double jointed arms which look good you do get the red forearm band right there not going into the the elbows oh it actually does it's just it doesn't get it when you bend it so i don't know i guess that's a it's not the biggest deal i applaud the effort for trying to get it in there but it does disappear when you bend it which which isn't the biggest deal you do have your styles gloves here or your wrist gauntlets which are detailed you got the aj on the underside which is cool i actually like these tights more than i thought i would and i think it's a nice detail to have the raw on the elbow pad which i really like they still have not given this man an accurate elbow pad for whatever reason it's supposed to be an open elbow pad every time i also think it'd be cool if they were to sculpt this on and have it like john cena where it's a removable sweatband think that would be cool he also had a vest in this match didn't include it you know whatever reason going down same similar AJ Styles trunks. You got the C Captain style logo there. The P1 graphics and the stripes look really good. I'm just so sick of black and red gears, you know? The Raw logo also looks really cool and sick. Like, I like the gear. I like the gear. I'm just, I'm just over black attire AJ Styles. I want red tie. Like, if you flip the colors on this gear, I'd be all for it. I'd be like, hell yeah, finally a red gear AJ Styles. We still don't have a red gear AJ Styles. I'm not talking about Elite 74 or Elite 86 or whatever the hell that was. I'm not talking about this man we want red tights and then you also had that wrestlemania one i like the kick pads you know you can put these on some different aj's and look good but jesus man i'm i'm so ready for the ultimate edition i i will throw this one in the yard when it is time for the ultimate edition review can't wait for that day all right man let's build this dead gum rick rude figure before i throw a fit again so the legs come with drew mcintyre the heads come with ultimate warrior the arms come with becky lynch and the torso comes with aj Styles. so what i like to do first is start off with the legs port those into the torso that fits really well fits like a glove you love to see that pop the arms into here that fits really snug as well i wonder if this guy's going to be the same height as like every other build a figure like michael cole and all them or if they actually adjusted the height he's kind of looking taller in my opinion but i could be wrong about that but i'm going with the with the mustache version because i like mustaches and he looks handsome there you go so pretty sweet looking figure i like the head sculpt on here it fits really nice and snug give this man his briefcase damn it he just stick the handle god in heaven stick the handle in there and then now he's looking 
impressive. This looks good, man. I'm really enjoying this. You know, I'm not like a Rick Rude crazy fan. I like Rick Rude. I think he was great, but you know, he's not someone that I grew up with or whatever, but this looks really, really good. So I, I enjoy this figure. I think the tie looks more realistic too with this head sculpt. This is phenomenal. No AJ Styles pun intended, but let's rank this set. Also, you guys know that these legs are just really poseable, man. It's just excellent. They feel really tight. I, I don't know if they improved their build of figures in that way, but here's like the height difference between him and Drew McIntyre. And then like, here's the height difference between him and AJ Styles. So I don't know. I think it works. I, I don't think he's as short as other build of figures, but I could be wrong. Before we rank this set, everybody has to know the criteria for said ranking. Just because a figure is the worst doesn't mean it's the worst. I don't know about this video. It might just mean that. No, but seriously though, just because a figure's at the bottom doesn't mean it's the worst figure ever and it doesn't have any good qualities at all. Just because a figure's number one doesn't mean that it couldn't be fixed in some way. Let's get into our ranking before I throw another fit. So starting out at the bottom of the ranking at number five, I am going to go with AJ Styles. Now you probably thought that it would be Becky Lynch in this spot, but it is not. It's the AJ Styles figure. If I never even looked at this AJ Styles figure or knew that it existed, that would be fine with me. You know what I mean? Like I just don't like this figure. I think it was a very big missed opportunity. Lots of reuse, no chest hair, terrible accessories. Just the list goes on and on, man. He's going to come in at the number five ranking. Now coming in at number four, very close is going to be the Becky Lynch figure. The bummy shoulder and just the complete reuse over and over with these basic kick pads and the just lack of detail in this figure is very frustrating, but I'd rather have the WandaVision Becky over the AJ Styles figure. I feel like I've had this figure 60 times already and it's the first double jointed black and red AJ Styles we've ever seen besides the, the, the jeans version, of course, but you guys get the point. Coming in at number three, I have the Drew McIntyre figure. I, I love Drew McIntyre. I love this figure, but it is basically just a re-release and I love the Elite Eight Drew and for a long time, it was a great figure and an outstanding figure and it's still good. It's not like it's bad or something, but it's just not, you know, I, I'd rather have other figures in the set, I do believe. But getting into number two and number one, number two, I'm going with the Rick Rude Build-A-Figure, really great figure. It could easily be number one and then number one is going to be Ultimate Warrior. I like the Ultimate Warrior figure the best. I think it's got the most flash going on with it. It's a very good head sculpt, very cool attire, lots of bells and whistles. It just looks like an awesome action figure and I think that really puts him over the top. He's very toyetic anyway, but you guys get the point there. But that is going to wrap up our WWE Elite Survivor Series 2022 wave. Don't forget the Rick Rude build a figure. But that wraps up this video, man. Overall, I think some of these figures are nice and some of these figures are completely skippable. But at the end of the day, anyways, before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout out. This shout out's going to go to Benji Brat, who says, You should make hot takes on WWW figures. I think he meant WWE. My hot take is I like the pegs on figures, especially on knees. I'm so used to it and it's much easier for customizing. That is probably a hot take. I'm actually, I was on that boat for a really long time. And I think for the most part on lower knees, yeah, I do agree. Especially to try to get new knee pads or something on a figure. However, I still think pinless probably looks aesthetically better, but I think they do a better job on the pinned in joints because they end up getting loose and stuff like that. So I don't know. But anyways, man, that wraps up the random shout out. Huge shout out to Benji Brat. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on the Survivor Series wave down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed day. Enjoy your day off and I'll see you guys next time. You cross the line. I've been